Hey, Coyote Nation, good Monday to you. What a beautiful day in the Ozarks, right? Hopefully you survived the Snowopolis or Snowmageddon or whatever it was this weekend. Actually turned out to be pretty nice, didn't it? Pretty cold though, pretty chilly today, so, and those roads might be a little bit slick, so be careful out there. We've got a wonderful week of sports on the way in Coyote Nation, and be sure to check out our Renegade Radio Sports updates right around 35 past the hour from 6.35 in the morning to 6.35 in the evening. Um, the the uh, uh, Blues are taking a little bit of a break for the next couple of days. They're off until Wednesday night. They've got a three-game West Coast swing coming up with games against the Ducks and the Kings and the Sharks. Uh, but they don't play until Wednesday, so they're taking a break. Blues have been like the hottest team in the NHL for the last couple of months, but they have lost their last uh, two in a row, I believe, so they need to figure it out and get back on track there. Uh, high school sports, very exciting time uh, because in high school basketball for the boys and the girls, we head into state tournament time, and several local teams from Coyote Nation are still alive in the state tournament. Uh, on the boys' side, uh, Camdenton is in the sectionals. St. Elizabeth boys uh, are in the semifinals at the, the state tournament. For the girls, we've got Hartville, Licking, Osage, Rolla, and uh, Lebanon all still playing and, and busy. So. Congratulations for making it this far and staying alive and still being in the uh, the state tournament and good luck as you uh, as you move forward. On this day in sports history, we have uh, a significant birthday and a significant uh, significant death. Okay, so born on this day in 1888, so way back, Newt Rockney. All right, the college football coach, the great Notre Dame coach, uh, and. A notable death on this day in history in 1990, for those who are old enough to remember, uh, college basketball player Hank Gathers actually collapsed and died on the basketball court during a game, um, during a college basketball game. He had a heart condition apparently and um, he was just playing at 100% and all of a sudden just kind of stumbled and fell. and and died. It was it was pretty shocking. It was uh, uh, kind of disturbing. But that was this day in sports history uh, back in 1990. So the quote of the day for today comes from broadcasting great Vin Scully. Uh, did so many uh, L.A. Dodger games over the years. One of the great great voices. So Vin Scully has an interesting sports quote today. A lot of truth to it. Vin says, good is not good when better is expected. Good is not good when better is expected. And uh, how true that is. The uh, Cardinals and Royals continue their spring training action. And for those guys who are making the big, big bucks, good is not good if better is expected, right? Uh, what have you done for me lately? So uh, the Cardinals playing uh, today. I believe they're playing the Tigers today. And the Royals actually have the day off at spring training. So uh, Royals have been playing pretty well. They've got a winning record so far. The Cardinals have been struggling a little bit. Looks like uh, Nick Foles has a new team in the NFL. Nick is the quarterback that led the Eagles to the Super Bowl title a couple years ago. And uh, looks like he'll be signing with Jacksonville. They can't actually, NFL teams can't actually do deals with free agents until March 11th. Uh, so <clears throat> we'll have to wait and see as long as nothing uh, steps in that breaks that up. It looks like that's going to happen. And I told you last week that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the great uh, NBA player, the former Laker and Milwaukee Buck, that he was selling a lot of his memorabilia, like he was selling four of his six NBA championship rings to raise money for charity. Well, they had that auction and they uh, raised about $3 million with uh, Kareem stuff. One of those championship rings of his sold uh, for four, about $400,000. Two others sold for about $250,000, so uh, very nice of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, that money, most of that money, we're told, 
go into charity to help out kids. We hope that you are joining us in the Coyote Nation. 107.9 The Coyote on the air. Great music, great shows. You got to check out Casey and the Round Men if you haven't yet. Three to six in the afternoon. It is the best show in the Ozarks. Fantastic. Um, we'll have our Renegade Radio Sports updates for you 35 past the hour. If you're watching this on Facebook, be sure to follow us on Facebook. We'll try to Keep you entertained and updated on things on Facebook. You can always go to our website, 1079thecoyote.com, and uh, be sure to be a part of Coyote Nation. You have a great Monday. Stay safe out there, and God bless you.